What's going on YouTube, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.4 and 14.4.1, which was released by Apple a week or so ago with the CheckRain. Yes, this video is for those of you who are not aware of CheckRain yet, or for those of you who are new in the community. I'm pretty sure many of you know how to use CheckRain by now, but for those of you who are new and ended up searching for how to jailbreak 14.4.1, here is what you need to know. So the CheckRain jailbreak is based on a bootroom exploit compared to the uncovered jailbreak which is not. So Uncovered Jailbreak will work on 14.3 and lower on all devices, while CheckRain will work on all iOS versions up to 14.4.1, but not on A12, A13 and A14 devices. You can recognize those because those are the recent devices, starting from the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, going to the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, SE 2020 or iPhone 12. All of these are not supported. CheckRain does support iPhone 10 and lower, so if you have any of those devices, like iPhone 7 or 6 or 5S and so on, these should work. Same thing applies for the iPads and iPod Touch. The iPads which do not have the A12 or newer chip would work. So how do you get it? You should know that CheckRain is only available for macOS and Linux. There was a Windows version planned, it never came, we have no idea what's going on with that, so for now it's safe to assume that you either get the Linux version or macOS version. So the recent one is currently 0.12.2 and this one did not require any update to support 14.4.1. After you connect your device you should be able to see it like here. It says 14.3 in my case, though it does work with 14.4.1 because unlike the uncovered jailbreak, the check ring doesn't require a TFP0 kernel exploit every time a new version is out. It just requires some minor tweaking, if anything at all, because of the unpatchable exploit that is being used in check ring. So it does support 14.4.1, but you should keep in mind that this doesn't support 14.5. So if you're running 14.5 beta, this doesn't work for you. Check ring needs to be updated before it supports that. So for those of you who are new to the channel and never used CheckRain before, here is the procedure. Once you download it, it looks like this. You connect your device and it should show like this. And then you go here to options and make sure you allow untested iOS. This is in order to support 14.4.1 because naturally it wouldn't support it without an update, but the CheckRain does support it internally, so it wouldn't be a problem. Then if you have an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10, you should enable skip A11 BPR check. Now the rest of the commands are not necessary, but if you want the verbose boot, which is the text on the screen when it boots, for debugging purposes or if you like it better, you can either type dash V or enable verbose boot, which would allow you to do that. Then you press start, press next, and your device will enter recovery mode. This will take a couple of seconds, please do not disconnect your device. Once it shows the laptop logo or the iTunes logo, depending on how old your device is, you should follow the instructions here to put it in DFU mode. If you don't know how to put it in DFU mode, you can definitely definitely Google it, but yeah, it's different from device to device. In this case, this is an iPad mini 4, so the combination will be to press the top button, the power button, and the home button for a couple of seconds. For other devices like the iPhone 7 though, the combination would be the power button and the volume down, because they do not have a home button. At least not a real one anyways, it's just a piece of glass that vibrates. Anyways, we're going to press start here, and then I'm gonna follow the procedure. You just have to follow exactly what CheckRing tells you, because it knows what device you have, and it knows what procedure you should follow. Wait for it to connect in DFU mode, and as you can see, device entered DFU mode, and at this point your device will boot. You should see the CheckRain logo on the screen followed by some text, which you can of course ignore. And after that, your device should boot. It can take a couple of seconds, but after that, you should be in jailbroken mode. Now, if it's the first time you jailbreak, you're going to have to install CDI yourself from the CheckRain application. I'm going to go to the device and show you exactly how to do that in a couple of seconds. But yeah, another thing to mention, the official CheckRain website is checkrain.in, not checkrain.com, not checkrain.dev, not checkrainjailbreak.com, those are all fake. The checkrain.in is the only legitimate website, so make sure you get it from the legit website. So it says in here all done, you can press done and you can close this now and the rest will be continued on the phone or on the tablet. So after you complete the booting procedure, you should have the checkrain logo. You press on it and you install Cydia from here if you never installed it before. Now do keep in mind that you're going to have to follow that 
procedure I showed earlier every time you re-jailbreak your device after a reboot. Yes, this jailbreak does require a computer to re-jailbreak because this one is a tethered jailbreak. So you should keep that in mind. But if you don't reboot your phone or device, you're not going to need a computer until you do. Now it's downloading whatever it needs to download, which is going to take a while. But this procedure right here, you only have to do once. The procedure with the computer, you have to do every time you re-jailbreak. So after you install Cydia, you basically never need the CheckRain application again unless you want to uninstall the jailbreak. So there you go, it quit and we should be able to have Cydia right now, which we do. So I'm going to press Cydia here and it loads. Now at this point you can do whatever you want, you can install tweaks and whatever. That's basically the whole jailbreak. You're probably going to have some updates to do in here in Cydia, but you can definitely do so later. So yeah, we do have a couple of updates, I'm going to do them, but yeah, that's basically it. That's what you need to know. Anyways, yes, the CheckRain jailbreak is indeed working out of the box with 14.4.1 on the supported devices, usually pre-8.12, but it doesn't support the 14.5 beta, so you should not try it on the 14.5 beta. If you want to get rid of the check rain though, if you want to uninstall it, you just go back here to the application, press restore system and press again and that would delete the jailbreak and leave the device brand new. No personal information will be deleted, your apps will remain intact, but Cydia and the tweaks will be gone. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated, if you're new to the channel check out my other videos and peace out.